All right, here's your guy to know everything you need to know about Dennis in Texas, the birthplace of the 34th US president, Dwight D. Eisenhower, birthplace of one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential heroes and icons in 2009, an American hero that was big enough that Hollywood star Tom Hanks portrayed in a movie, and this town has recently made statewide news as the city welcoming a $100 million Margaritaville resort, a major project expected to be a significant factor for the local economy. You may not be that familiar with the charming town of Denison, Texas, but its intrigue is on the rise for families all over the state. And full disclosure, I did grow up here and graduate high school here, so in this video I'm going to try to provide the most objective view that I can. No promises though. Whether you're coming to Denison to see Lake Texoma, President Eisenhower's birthplace, the Katy Depot, or the North Texas Regional Airport, Denison has a lot to offer. Let's go and make sure we're addressing the pros and cons of living in Denison, Texas. And before jumping into the pros, let's dive into a quick overview of Denison. Denison is one of those towns that just keeps getting good news after good news for all the economical changes coming to the area. When people talk about North Texas, this is as North Texas as it gets. Literally, if you look on the map, it's the last city right before you get to the Texas and Oklahoma border right off 75. It's obviously considered the far North Dallas area. It is about 93 miles from Arlington that hosts the AT&T Stadium for Dallas Cowboys games in many major concerts throughout the year. Globe Life Field for the World Champion Texas Rangers games and Six Flags in Hurricane Harbor. You're also about 75 miles from downtown Dallas for many networking events, the American Airlines Center that is home to the Dallas Mavericks and Dallas Stars games, and many other major events throughout the year. And then you're about 78 miles from the DFW International Airport. As of right now, Denison has a population of around 27,000 people. The new residential developments, multifamily housing complexes, and the Preston Harbor Project are all contributing to Denison's growth, expected to double in the next decade or so. That Preston Harbor project we're talking about is expected to include around 7,500 luxury homes that's going to house around 20,000 new residents and so there's a lot more to come to this area. And according to Realtor.com, as of 2024, the median listing price was $269,000 and the median sale price was $254,400. After taking everything into consideration between public schools, housing, the crime and safety, and jobs, Niche.com graded Denison with a B+. And now that I've had a quick overview of Denison, let's go and talk about the first pro of living in this area. To kick us off, I really can't believe I'm gonna be talking about this, uh, especially when it comes to Denison or the Sherman area. And for those of us that grew up here, you know what I'm talking about. But I must say, the entertainment scene is evolving pretty rapidly here in North Texas. Denison is in more of a wooded, gently rolling terrain that leads you to Lake Texoma and the Red River. The lake is one of the largest man-made lakes in the United States with 580 miles of shoreline and consists of 89,000 acres. This is a staple of the North Texas community and a great tour spot while also being huge for the local economy. From the shores of Oklahoma to the shores of Texas, there are several options for outdoor activities to participate, including fishing, camping, hiking, kayaking, golfing, boating, jet skiing, swimming at the beaches, playgrounds for kids to enjoy, and a water park on the Oklahoma side. And then if you're into scoring big, you're less than 30 miles away from a world-class casino over at Choctaw Casino and Resort. This is on the very southern tip of Oklahoma and one of the biggest draws for local attractions. We have 100 table games, 7,400 slot machines, a state-of-the-art poker room, 16 restaurants, six movie theaters, a massive arcade, and a sports bar. And for the weekend resort getaway, stay at the Sky Tower where you can enjoy private cabanas, 1,700 hotel rooms, and a pool that you'd only see in Las Vegas built by a local pool builder that grew up right here in North Texas. And like I mentioned, the nightlife is a world of its own too with a history of big name entertainers like John Legend, Luke Bryan, Maroon 5, Blake Shelton, Dolly Parton, and even Jerry Seinfeld. We're also real close to Heyday. Heyday offers plenty of things to do for kids and adults, including bowling, arcade, laser tag. They have an upstairs and downstairs bar and restaurant, outdoor seating, and live music. This is a great place to watch Cowboys games or big UFC fights. We're also real close to Urban Air. This is a huge local trampoline park. Urban Air is crazy fun for kids, but also crazy overstimulating for parents. And for our second pro of living in Denison, let's go and talk about the anticipated growth of the area. But the city just approved the Schuler development now called Preston Harbor, a project that's expected to double the city's population. It's a 3,100 acre community that will include retail, 
restaurants, boat slips, and a resort that is led by none other than David Craig, the developer of the massively popular Craig Ranch in McKinney, Texas. This is a monumental project for Denison and one of the largest land purchases in the history of Grayson County. And it's also expected to bring in an additional $6 million in ad valorem value. And then go back to Lake Texoma and the Preston Harbor project, it was just announced on January 19th. There has been an agreement for a $100 million Margaritaville resort to be built in the development and onto the lake. This resort will include between 250 and 280 hotel rooms and add about 300 jobs. More details of this project will be coming soon, but as you can imagine, this will transform the look and feel of these North Texas towns. For pro number three, we've got to talk about the heavily revamped downtown Denison area. After millions of dollars invested, downtown Denison is back to being the heart of the community. It's home to over 200 independently owned businesses and hosts over 680 events annually. We have a lot of shopping and dining options to choose from right here in downtown Denison. For shopping, we have antique shops to boutiques to bridal shops to upholstery. There's something for everyone. And ladies, if you're in the hunt for some great boutique finds, you're in for a treat here as there's a wide variety of boutique shops, starting with Blue Ryan Boutique, Ray's Mercantile, Monarch Boutique, Serendipity, Ray of Sunshine, Vintage Victoria, and much more. And we can't forget about Monsters on Main. They are the only store in the country that takes designer upholstery fabric remnants and transforms them into the most creative monsters in the USA. And there isn't a large selection of commercial stores in Denison, so if you need to shop at a larger chain, just south of Denison is over at the Sherman Town Center. You are bound to either have a great shopping experience or get overstimulated as there's a multitude of options for shopping and dining. Sherman Town Center has over 49,000 square feet of retail space and is one of the largest regional shopping centers between DFW and Oklahoma City. It has a variety of retail stores to choose from, including Target, The Home Depot, Best Buy, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and Books A Million. And then for dining, Rustico is a very popular spot in downtown known for its flavorful chef-crafted cuisine, traditional dishes like chili rellano, carne asada, and seafood enchiladas are what keep their customers coming back for more. And then Stafford House Provisions is a restaurant and wine bar located right here in the historical Katy Depot. They have exceptional wines with an even better dining experience. And then and just right around the corner from City Hall, offering a bohemian touch to the cuisine. If you like tacos, you're in for a huge treat. If you're a taco fan like me, you must check out Frank and Lola's. My recommendation would be the chips and salsa flight along with the smoked chicken tacos, and don't forget about the spicy winneritas. And then for an upscale and elegant dining spot in Denison, we got 34 Chop House, which is a great date night. They specialize in premium steaks and chops and have a variety of delicious sides and appetizers. And then like we've mentioned, downtown Denison has gone through some major renovations in the last couple years, also called Designing Downtown Denison, or D3. With major upgrades, new businesses, redesign and growth, downtown is a must-visit destination. Whether you're looking for shopping, dining, fun, or relaxation, you are sure to find something to do. And then lastly, for a couple social experiences, don't forget about the horses acts. Whether you're into axe throwing, pool tables, or arcade games, there's endless fun to be had. And then also the newest and latest attraction in downtown is Copa Copacetic Cowboys. Savor the charm of the Western Cocktail Lounge and Bar, where you can indulge in a selection of spirits and enjoy a house-made snack. And for pro number four of living in Denison, let's go and talk about the schools here. Denison offers five elementary schools, one intermediate school, one middle school, one high school, and one alternative high school. Niche.com has graded Denison ISD in the top 25% of school districts in Texas, top 10% for diversity, and top 10% for best school districts for athletes in all of Texas with a B-plus overall grade for its academics and an A-minus for its teachers. There's an average teacher experience of 11 years, it has a 93% graduation rate, and there's a student-to-teacher ratio of 13 to 1. And for anybody that knew me 20 years ago, you know I barely slipped into that 93% uh, graduation rate. There are approximately 4,700 students that attend Denison schools, and you can imagine that will only increase with the wave of announcements that have happened here in the area. And historically, the town has taken great pride into its football team. Denison is actually part of the longest football rivalry in the state of Texas with its neighboring town of Sherman of 126 years. This is also known as the Battle of the Axe, which Denison has won 11 years in a row, I might add. The game is a big thrill for both teams and communities, and they play for the love of the game and pride in their cities. No city's perfect, so let's go ahead and address some of the potential drawbacks of living in the area. For con number one of Dennis, so let's go ahead and talk about the congestion, the construction, and the ongoing traffic concerns around the area. And listen, everybody knows when there's a big spike in growth of a town, there's gonna be some traffic concerns, some 
some ongoing delays and just like concrete barriers and road cones. It, it gets annoying, I get it. But I must say the road rate construction, all the potholes and all of that on 75 and 69 going out towards Bells, it does get pretty annoying. It's resulted in increased travel time, increased fuel, and an economic impact. Trucking delays may result in higher cost of goods, but thankfully it'll soon be finished and it'll be well worth the headache of having to sit in traffic and avoid the traffic cones and concrete barriers. Aside from all that, like I mentioned, I did grow up here, so even before all this growth started happening, Dennis has never really had a good reputation for the quality of streets in the town, and the residents have never been afraid to say it. But on a lighter note, they are making improvements to the infrastructure around town in order to help with all the growth coming its way. Another thing to consider is the housing shortages, even with the new developments being built. With people moving north and quickly at that, it is causing the houses to come off the market rather quickly and or before they even hit the market at times. Speaking of that, here are a couple quick facts on the housing market in Denison, Texas. There are 251 houses on the market as of August 16th of 2024, and there's a wide array of houses in Denison ranging from 720 square feet priced at 65,000 all the way up to 11,000 square feet priced at 10.9 million. But don't let the latter size and price fool you. That is not the average large home here in Denison. Our larger homes are typically between 4,000 and 6,000 square feet priced between 1 million and 1.5 million dollars. The median lot size is just under a quarter of an acre with a median price of 289,000 in what is currently on the market with an average of 62 days to sell. Denison has been experiencing a 4.1% growth rate the last few years, and it's great for the advancement of Denison, but it does make it difficult to keep up with the infrastructure like plumbing, energy, transportation, telecommunications, all the utilities that involve into housing Denison. For con number two of living in Denison, let's go ahead and address the crime and safety factors here. Nice.com graded Denison with a C grade of crime and safety. This is based on violent and property crime rates. And then according to NeighborhoodScout.com, the crime rate in Denison is considerably higher than the national average across all communities in America from the largest to the smallest, so much so that it's actually rated 32 out of 100 with 100 being the safest. The chance of becoming a victim in either violent or property crime in Denison is one in 66. And based on FBI crime data relative to Texas, Denison has a high crime rate that is higher than 63% of the state's cities and towns of all sizes. And then for con number three of Denison, Texas, this is kind of consistent with a lot of North Texas suburbs, but it's just going to be the inconsistent weather here. Per my perfect weather throughout the year, the temperature in Denison varies between a low of 32 degrees and a high of 95 degrees. The city also experiences an annual precipitation of 44 inches and a snowfall of two inches. In Denison, the air can feel uncomfortably humid during the summer months from June to August. And unfortunately, twice a year, every year just about, a fun little thing we like to call a hailstorm comes in and ruins our day, causing hail damage to your vehicles, roofs, and much more. I guess it does keep the roofers and the insurance agents busy though. So guys, that's gonna close out on the pros and cons of living in Denison, Texas. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Do me a favor, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you ever have any questions about Denison, would like a tour of any of the homes here, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All of my contact info is pinned in the top comment below. And lastly, if you wanna see what another great North Texas suburb is like, check out this video by clicking here.